let's go into our Facebook profile, our personal profile or our personal page. You may have heard it different ways, but it always refers to our personal profile. So we want to set this up. We have set up the back end and now we are going into the front and where I show you what you can do and how to navigate with your friends list and how you can segment everything. In here, you see on top your when you come in into your personal profile, into your feed, you see all the stories up here. So stories make it very, very easy for you to identify who is interacting and who saw your profile post. So everybody who clicked your profile post or your story post, now you can see who has seen that post and now you have a little bit more inside information in here. So within your a story you can put in videos, one minute videos, which makes it even more engaging. But to that, we will learn a little bit more later in the course area. But you can start with posting daily um, uh, quotes or what you want to share with your audience. Now with your friends, uh, Facebook is interacting with you and will give you friend recommendations like here. So you want to be very careful because remember, we only have 5,000 friends available and Facebook is looking with in your friends and now recommending friends of your friends. So you don't want to do it. You want to ignore it. Even Facebook puts this in front of you. You want to go to every friend request who is coming in and think about if they are costumer, current costumer, past costumer or clients or current costumer or clients or somebody you are working right now with. So when you are working with somebody, I would recommend when you uh, send them a friend request as soon you know you will work with this costumer or client. So different areas, different states have different uh, meanings of client of costumer. So a client in our area is anybody you have a signed contract with. So a buyer's agreement or a listing agreement. So those are um, uh, in Florida what we are differentiating between clients and a customer. A customer or a consumer is somebody you are working with, but you have no contract, no signed paperwork with. So there is always a risk, but those are the people you want to friend request or accept when they are requesting you. So within your friends, so let go to your friends list. So let's see. All right, within my friends, so now I can segment them within my friends. So I don't have any friend request, you see, but if I would add somebody, people you may know, so again, we don't want to do it, so we can segment our people. So let me go back and show you what I mean. So here we, let's see what comes up in here. So Mike, Mike is a realtor for me. He is a realtor. He is interesting. And here I am able to edit a friends list. So I could unfollow Mike if I want to, or I could send them an unfriend if they are not engaging. And if I would have reached very close my 5,000 list, now I'm really, really will think very, very careful if they can bring me business or if they are working with me or if they are a past or a, a past client or a current client. So I can now submit to my friend list a uh, mic who I have as a broker and as a realtor. So you see, I have different 
friend list where I have a friend list where all my mortgage broker are coming is. I also have a list where I put all my people who are very inspirational to me with who I am friends or who are my coaches or where I think people that interest me so that I can get some inspiration. I do have a buyer and sellers list and I easy can go into this list and now find them. So when I, let's say Mike is not a broker, so I could put in broker and now Mike is in one of my edited friends list. And now that makes it possible for me to edit my lists it's my friends list so then you have to scroll down a little bit here i go into my friends list and here is my friends list where i now can segment everybody i am uh, looking into my uh, friends list how i want to segment them for you probably it will be buyer seller uh, I do also have my area in here. So I am still serving a seller and buyer, but I also serving realtors as a real estate broker, as well as a marketing agency. So for me, it is a very, I have different, different segmentation to what I want to do with those lists. So if I want to post something only mentioned or seen for my brokers. So now I have the ability to bring them up and show them certain posts only when I don't want any realtors to look at those uh, postings. So here again, here are my Danish friends, here are my German friends, so I put them there because they speak my language, they understand certain things different, and sometimes I post in German, sometimes I post in English, so it is all relative. So think about your friends list, how you want to segment buyers, sellers, current client, past clients, referred. So you have different ways to segment your list and think about what you want to do with them. So here uh, we are going back into postings and here I show you what you can do. So let's put a post together where we now can segment our list when I want to show only certain people my post. How do we do it? So we go into posting. So I put in already a test, I uploaded a photo. And what you now can do is where we are now able to segment who can see that post. So, and you click that little arrow and now you see you can post the public to your friends, friends accept, specific friends, only me. And now you see all your friends list here acquaintance, brokers, buyer, seller, your close friends, your coaches, Denmark, whatever, your marketing, louder there by the sea. Now I can segment everybody in that group when I have a certain post in mind, I want to put in front of a certain kind of audience. And here you see now how we can get intentional. If you want to post something, you don't want to see others than your friends. Now you can segment only your friends. But keep in mind, for me, I segmented my people, my friends, so that only my acquaintances and my friends or my specific friends could see it. So if I want only a certain list to see those posts. So as you can see, you are now able to segment and be intentional with putting something in front of your people. So when I want to post something related to marketing, it isn't necessary that all my clients, my buyer and seller see it. Now I put it in front of 
every realtor and broker who only are able to see that post. And that's where we are now can intentional post stuff in our area. So again, you can go in and segment your friends list in here, or you can go in here and now look for the people you are friends with. Stephanie, she is, I believe she is in Fort Lauderdale. I am not sure. So let's see if I edit the friends list. Now, yes, I talked to her already on a realtors list. And now she is tucked on here. So you can do it in your friends list or you can do it directly when your page come in. So what I would recommend, uh, you are uh, pulling up all your friends and then going in there and tuck or itemize everybody within your list. So it makes it much, much easier to uh, segment your friends list and to be able to now post intentional in front of your people. So I hope that helped you. Now let's move on to the next video.